Congratulations on your win today. How are you feeling coming off the court? No, very good. Uh, unfortunately, it was very difficult. I had to go through uh, a lot of uh, transitioning with the weather and weather conditions yesterday and today. And uh, no, I thought I, I managed myself uh, mentally very well. And I prepared, I think, to the best of my ability for today. And, uh, and I was very successful today. Yeah, very happily. I'll open to the floor. Mackie have a little UCLA thing going here. Yeah. With success. <laughs> with Marcos too. Marcos too. Right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. 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 So did you uh, do you guys have any I mean, is that a special bond that yeah, we were, realizes we're actually itself roommates. in the locker room? We actually roommates, uh, no, we're definitely good friends off the court and uh, I'm very happy for him. Uh, for the win, uh, and uh, no, it's it's great to have uh, Bruins UCLA teammates, uh, former UCLA teammates here. Marcos was actually my volunteer assistant coach back then, <laughs> so we were on the team together the same year, and then the, and then eventually uh, Mackie left, but uh, we were one year together, so and we were we were roommates, so it's yeah, wow. really good bond. <laughs> okay, you are, are you guys friends? So no, no, we're uh, we're Danish. Danish friends, so we just go along. Oh, okay. You okay? Okay. Um, do you you had a good bit of success here last year? Um, what is it about? Is there anything special or particular about here? These hard courts? Oh, I when I played last year, it was uh, right after uh, my successful uh, challenger uh, uh, tourney in uh, in November and December. So I uh, had a lot of confidence coming in here last year. Uh, with a lot of matches under my belt, I had only two weeks between uh, my last challenger in December and and uh, and Australian Open. So, uh, so I, I guess I, I just carried that confidence over to to uh, the Australian tourney. So, and uh, no, it, it got me to top hundred and close to top fifty to to play here. So, definitely a very special place and uh, very good for for my game, my serving volley game. Is that? Because of the speed of the courts, or well, I, I can, s I think uh, most courts now are, are really fast. Honestly, I think it's mostly that I was in a good mental, uh, I was in a very good mind frame last year, and and I'm coming back into that great mindset this year uh, here. So I think, uh, no, I can do great damage. Yeah. Um, Brett has a question from uh, from uh, Danish news agency Ritzel. Um, I was. Uh, we're of course very interested in the the upcoming match against Holger Rune. I I believe he has beaten you twice mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. What uh what what do you plan to to, to do differently to to, uh, to change that? I I actually I, I played him on the very slow conditions uh, on on clay and uh, indoor. It was very uh, very slow. It was very difficult for me, and uh, I think it's very different conditions. Uh, uh, when I play him here, um, but no, he's a terrific player. Uh, he's been me twice, but uh, the past doesn't define the future. So no, I'm, I'm excited uh, for for the encounter. Yeah. Uh, and how do you? I mean, how do you think your play style? Uh, you know, you said volley uh, matches up against his uh, his style of playing more more all, all court maybe. No, I, I prepare the same way against every opponent. I, I focus on myself, and, and I think if I hit my s my my spots really well and. Uh, and I stick the good, uh, good firm volley. I think it it's could could work against everyone. So I don't really focus on my opponent. I focus on myself, and uh, and I think it's been a very successful one. I've been very confident. So uh, I just keep to uh, keep on doing the successful formula. Yeah. yeah. Just one, just one question, team yeah. to Denmark. I'm a little bit nostalgic. How is it? How do you fell in love with the serve and volley game? Because you, in a way, it is a bit strange to see you play. As a viewer for me, you remember the 70s and the 80s. Mm -hmm. How how did it come? You fell in love with that serve and volley I, game. I I uh, watched uh, a lot of tapes of uh, Pete Sampras and uh, and Patrick Rafter and uh, no, and my brother uh, was a huge fan of was a huge Sampras fan. So. Uh, and he wanted me to play like that uh, from a very young age. At first, I, I had some resistance, but eventually, at 13, 14, I, I listened to my to my brother and uh, I started doing it. And uh, no, I, I felt incredible uh, to do it, and I just kept doing it over and over again. Even though at first it wasn't very successful um, because it's very difficult to master, but uh, I s I was persistent. I 
carried the faith that it would, it would eventually work, and uh, no, I'm glad that I, I stuck with it, yeah. Thank you. Um, among the Americans, Francis and Taylor and um, Tommy are kind of like the three musketeers. Do mm -hmm. you, I mean, are you, do you associate with them or hang out with them, practice with them? Uh, uh, not, not necessarily, no. Uh, I mean, I mostly practice in France, in Paris, uh, but uh, no, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting to know them m more. I, it's my, it was my first year on the tour last year, so I had just seen them for the first time last year. Uh, so no, I'm lo looking forward to, to, uh, to eventually play Davis Cup with them and, uh, and uh, yeah, share some special memories, yeah. Your your ascent on on like the the like the ATP rankings has been like very quick uh, during the last uh, couple of years. I was wondering, do you have any specific targets for this season or? No, I, I for me the the target is uh, I, I I set a lot of goals last year. I think uh, top ten and uh, is is uh, my main goal. It was my goal last year, uh, but I think now I'm 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 transitioning more to a mindset to focus on what I can control and. Uh, and uh, and then eventually my goals would would uh, would uh, would happen. I don't know when, but uh, and now I just focus on the on the present and uh, and getting my game to the to the maximum uh, potential. So obviously every year it's to get to the top ten, top five, and 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 more. So uh, and I'll do whatever is possible to to make it. Yeah. What what are your long term goals? Well, I, to win, uh, obviously, everyone wants to win the Grand Slam titles and and uh, and Masters and events. And eventually, to get to number one at the Alcaraz spot, um, and uh, uh, hopefully inspire a lot of a lot of players to serve in volley again. That's one of my visions, and uh, and uh, yeah, working really really hard to to make it happen. Yeah. Any final questions? Okay, we'll conclude the press conference there. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.